Now, hundreds of protesters and human rights activists gathered in London yesterday to denounce the detention of Sheikh Ali Salman by the Bahraini regime. As they gathered for the press conference in front of the Bahraini embassy, they called for the immediate release of the Al Wifaq party leader. Sheikh Salman was arrested on Sunday after boycotting the parliamentary election. The Bahraini regime accused him of employing illegal means to press for political change. Now, his detention sparked worldwide protests and demands for, dem for democracy democratic reform in the country. You cannot continue to arrest people who are calling for reform and who are moderate in their demands and in their policies just uh, as you wish. There is a price to be paid and the price has been seen in the vast uh, protests and demonstrations that have spread uh, in the country from east to west, north to south. And also the anger expressed by freedom-loving people outside Bahrain, whether it is religious scholarship, scholars, whether it is politics, politicians, whether it is activists, whether it is human rights uh, bodies. It is all shows that the decision to arrest and to detain Sheikh Ali Salman is ill-placed, is bad, is, is negative, is destructive. Now, to discuss this issue with us further is a Bahraini campaigner and activist Ali Fayez, who joins us over the phone in London. Uh, Ali, thank you very much for joining the bulletin. Now, Sheikh Salman's recent um, detention highlights the reality of the democratic struggle under the Bahraini regime. Now, why is there no real response from the international community? Thanks for um, allowing me to have a few minutes with you. Um, the, we have seen some response, but it was really a negative response. Um, and the response really shows that there is a green light for the Bahraini regime to target Sheikh Ali Salman and put him in jail and, you know, put uh, some accusation without any, um, you know, uh, baseless, baseless accusation. Um, and the response really is, 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 is in a way that it's giving more space for the regime to target more activists. It seems that um, the international community, uh, particularly uh, United Kingdom government and the United States administration, have come to a conclusion to stop uh, promoting dialogue and um, reconciliation in Bahrain because that does not um, um, help their interest in the country. That's what we understand uh, from the past seven days of the detention of Sheikh Ali Salman. Mm. Now, Sheikh Salman was not the only well-known politician to oppose the so-called elections, Ali, in, in Bahrain. Uh, do you think the regime um, expands its crackdown on those who boycott the election as well? Um, I think the election, boycotting the election, was one of the main reasons for targeting Sheikh Ali Salman, but that's not the only reason. The second reason is the regime wanted to, to make some changes in the leadership of Al Wafaq, which is the biggest um, uh, political party in Bahrain, and they could not. Sheikh Ali become the leader again of Al Wafaq. And the third one is um, opposing the signing contract between the agreement between um, the regime and United Kingdom for having a naval base in Bahrain. Um, and Sheikh Ali was very clear about it. Um, and since then, we saw the UK ambassador targeting the entire uh, Bahraini opposition, uh, and specifically Al Wafaq and Sheikh Ali in particular. Uh, so I think th th those three reasons making up the decision to come up to a conclusion to target Sheikh Ali Salman, because um, to them he become a real threat for their interest. Mm. And the British government's role in all this. What do you make of it? I think British government was the main player in the entire uh, in, in, in the entire scene in Bahrain for the past seven days, and I would say for the past four years. Uh, British government have not played any positive role uh, with regard to promoting democracy and human rights in Bahrain. In fact, they provide regime with political support, logistics, and some advisors uh, to target uh, Bahraini. Um, uh, uh, opposition and uh, activists, whether within Bahrain or outside Bahrain. We have many cases that point out that the um, UK government is engaged with the Bahraini regime 
and they wanted Bahraini regime to continue as is, i.e., to be a dictatorship, uh, to maintain dictatorship and tyranny in Bahrain. Um, Ali, even the uh, U.S. have shown some concern over the, de the detention of, of Sheikh Salman as well. Will that add any pressure to the Bahraini regime? Well, we believe the U.S. administration have a hand in it as well. But U.S. administration have changed their stance after two days uh, of the protest um, uh, against Sheikh Ali Salman's detention. Uh, they don't want to be seen as a supporter of tyranny and dictatorship, but we understand the decision will not be made without their approval and green light. Um, we think if, if they wanted really to promote democracy and human rights, if they wanted to support um, uh, a reformist like Sheikh Ali Salman, they would call Bahraini regime clearly to uh, free Sheikh Ali immediately um, without any um, uh, without any um, time and and uh, ask the Bahraini regime to give Bahrainis their right for of self determination as they did in Egypt and Tunisia and other countries. In fact, U.S. have gone further more in Libya and Syria, um, and we see them supporting what they call rebels in there. Um, um, and, 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 and contrary in Bahrain, they provide the regime with tear gas canister and um, logistics and political support as well uh, to uh, crush down the opposition and the protester, peaceful protester in the street. And even uh, putting pressure um, on the Bahraini regime from outside of Bahrain in terms of London, for example, what is the, uh, the, the next step in the, the Bahraini opposition here in London? Well, uh, we, we believe as an opposition, uh, the role of the uh, West is not uh, positive for us, but we wanted to put the pressure through the um, uh, West community, Western people who uh, can put pressure on their parliaments and on their government. Uh, but we totally believe that the change will happen from within Bahrain uh, by the rebels, peaceful protests, and more uh, protests on the street. Uh, we uh, are here to voice out our people demands and to make sure the community here, the public opinion, do understand our stance uh, as opposition and as people of Bahrain. Okay, we're just going to have to leave it there. Um, Ali Fayez, a Bahraini campaigner and activist who's calling us from London, thank you very much for your time.